What is it about numbers? What do they tell us? Do they help us understand? One woman goes missing, then another, and another. For a long time, only those who know and love them pay attention, until the numbers start to add up. February 2002. The biggest serial murder investigation in Canadian history begins on a farm just outside Vancouver. By this time, more than 60 women are officially missing from the streets of the city's downtown east side. For two years, hundreds of forensic investigators sift through tons of earth and debris from the farm, searching for traces of missing women. Murder charges are laid against the owner of the farm. First two, then seven, then 15. Then in February 2004, the 23rd woman is identified from DNA found in the earth taken from the farm. But like all the others, she is much more than a number. She has a name. Her name is Dawn Cray. There is nothing left now at the farm to tell us what really happened here. They say DNA carries the genetic footprint of a person, the essence of who we are. But what does it really tell us about anyone? For me, finding Dawn's DNA raised more questions than it gave answers. Who was she? And how did we lose her? Like Dawn, I too am a native woman. And for me, her story is part of a much bigger picture. They say more than 500 native women have gone missing or been murdered across Canada in the past 20 years. I need to put a human face to what's happened to so many of my sisters. And it starts with finding Dawn.